What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 18 of my Paradox Grand campaign in Crusader Kings 2 and on the last episode we started a war over here against the African Revolt which had, for some reason has become light blue. It previously was like a dark green but now it's a light blue. I really like that colour actually. That's really strange, I've never seen it do that before. Anyway. We have a few things that we missed out on whilst we were looking through that. Now, willful means we're not going to be very good at that. However, timid or idolizer, we have idolizer, so he would be good at a learning education, but he is our heir. Hopefully the curious will balance out the willful. And we're going to go for that. It may be a mistake, you may get like a level 2 or level 1 diplomacy education as opposed to like a level 4 learning education, but we're going to take the risk. Send various people into hiding. This is due to our paranoidness. We have the trait paranoid, which means we think everyone's trying to kill us. No one is actually plotting against us if we have a look over here. So we're going to let the game roll now. Finish this war and hopefully win. Siege of Tino over here. We're being sieged down by host Vikings. There seems to be so many raiders in this game. It's ridiculous. My daughter has become a scholarly theologian and can now marry her husband. Matrilony? No. He is the heir to West Francia. He's very good, in fact. Yes, we'll do that. And we'll hopefully negotiate an alliance with West Trankia here. Yes, alliance. Awesome. Uh, serious talk. Yes, give her a proper talk. She's mad at me, but that doesn't matter that much. Raiders gain some defense there. We have a We have an illegitimate child here. Will or humility um sure legitimize her. It's fine with me. Call to arms against Lothar of Lothar's host, Ale of Ale's host, and Hulderic of Hulderic's host. Who cost us a thousand prestige. Sure. How are you in four, three host invasions at once? Someone for Holland, someone for Brittany, and someone for Normandy. That's ridiculous. I mean, we're not going to do much about it because we're currently invading this guy. Stop sieging down Capua. I can't do anything about you. I have no troops over in the mainland. We'll siege that down. Now we will check what our war score is. 58%. We're going to go engage this army. Which may be a mistake because he may surrender if we destroy his army. He may surrender to the other guy. So we're going to have to peace out now. Offer peace. We've took this land now. Let's give it all away to random vassal people. Create new vassal. And we this time are going to give it all to different people rather than one person, which has made the tuna sky really strong. Do that, do that, give you that. Okay, so I think this guy, yeah, this baron who we've created, we will grant him Ben Yanni. Now we will go to search realm. I want men, not in prison, not rulers, not of a great house, yes adults, my religion, my cultural group. I want to sort by stewardship, I think. And I want to give it to the most apparent people here. 
So this guy's pretty good. He is also an administrator, which gives him movement speed. We'll grant him a title. He can have the Jaija or whatever. This guy, grant under title. Include lower titles. The Jaija. I don't think that's how it's pronounced, but um, this guy, add the title, you can have another, um, Spymaster, add the title, you can have Tell Atlas, this strong guy of Ravenna, you can have Constantine, and that should be it. So now we will go to this guy, I believe was the best. Yes, the Ad Administrator. And we will grant him the Duchy, which we'll have to create. We can't. Right, that's a bit of a problem. We can't create the Duchy at this point. We need, what's the Duchy called? Kabelia. We can't because someone's at war. So we'll have to wait for that, but we'll stand down our men. In the meantime, why are oh, because there's enemy in the homelands, but they're far away, so yes, we'd lose 200 troops, that's okay. Now we will raise our personal levy here, our vassal levy, this vassal levy, this vassal levy, and we will go to Recruitium. No, it's fine, my wife didn't cheat on me. I trust her word. So, hopefully, we can catch these guys because they've been stealing my money for a long time. Slaughter them. Burnt down three of my holdings here. Thankfully, they didn't capture any of my. Um, children or anything. I'm so sick of these raiders. How can raiders be this like prevalent in this region? It's Italy. It's not like I'm on the British coast. I'm in I'm in the Mediterranean Sea. How are raiders just coming here all the time? We have a grandson? Nephew. A nephew. We'll make him We'll give him humility focus as well. Um, charitable or content charitable would be preferable, but got content. A bit unfortunate, but we will now march on the army here. Get diligent, please. Got 3,000 men in this fight against the raiders. My spy master just died, as did my steward. And we inherited Pisa from my mother. We can finally marry off that um, stupid sister of mine. Oh, she died. And this one was just just died in the dungeons of her uh, of the King of France. Well, that's unfortunate. And this one died clutching her heart. She was also married to a Carling. Oh yes, I remember. They allowed the marriage. Okay, well let's go to May. Let's see if I can marry one of my daughters off to one of the Carlings. Well, there's a Carling, but he's illegitimate. This one. Yes. Marry him. Matrilinely. You do that. But it looks like we have small parks in Padua or Pavia so are we going to close the gates? There's the question. We're currently not in Pavia, we're in um, Milan or Lombardy so we personally don't have to worry about that but I don't know, I don't want to close the gates unless we have to. So we slaughtered that army, let's go slaughter it some more made a mistake coming into our land. Uh, 
Um, this guy, my... I've done my best funeral, I am approached by her old friend, Mayor Bruno, who wants to speak to me. Apparently Mother wanted Bruno to look after me. He is offering me his friendship and protection. Of course, Lord Bruno. He's a bit of a drunkard, but he's a brilliant strategist and a hunter. And he's now my direct, like, vassal. That's the word. Um, my son has got the flu makes him very susceptible to injury and he's had a botched treatment okay that's not good right we'll stand this army down and my son may die which will be this son in line to inherit it's unfortunate I could marry him off to Constance here. Let's do that. So that gets us a claim on West Francia at some point. We have a new son, Rommel. Get him humility as well. And what else? Is there any wars we can do? We have chance of becoming charitable. She got content, great. Um, well, we can't really do much there. Oh, she's the one who just got content. Get ambition. We can't go to war with Bulgaria, unfortunately, unless it's been taken over by a non Catholic. No, it hasn't. Do we have a claim there? Do we have claims anywhere? We have a claim on Veglia. We should have moved you a million years ago then. Um, we'll move you to the rest of Croatia. The Duchy of Croatia, at least. Oh, straight away we get a claim. We'll move you again to there once we get a chance. Good. An ambitious adventurer is coming for my title. Lovely. Where is he? At court in Lancaster. Um, go to him. Okay, let's try and do this. So, where's assassination chance? They used to exist. I'm sure it was skiing. Lancaster. Can I send you to Lancaster? Yes, apparently I can. Okay. This guy. Let's try it. Not knowing the name of his killer. Awesome. Goodbye. This adventurer who is going to come claim my title for some reason, even though he has no claim to my title. It makes no sense, but somehow that's how adventurers work. They can claim your titles without having a claim. Um, Religion-wise, we need to convert this new duchy, I think. It would be beneficial. And our next war is going to be over there. Caring for the sick and infirm is one of the duties of charity. I can visit one of them. So I could visit this duchess who is wounded. That's her illness. I'm fine visiting her. Or I could gain the trait humble. Help one of them. Let's go for humble. Get us some more piety. Let's. This event never works for me. I always get disastrous falconry. I think that I've only got um, the good for falconry want. Yeah. I can either gain depressed or I can get diplomacy plus one until May and get aspiring poet, which sets me on the poet route. So this girl is going to be a very good diplomat based on the fact that she is affectionate and curious. Looks like West Frank here is spread out across East Frankie as well. 
They've become bitter rivals. Why? What? Why instead of becoming friends did they become bitter rivals? Surely they could just become, like, not friends. Um, sure. We'll gain Poet, gives us plus one diplomacy. Very nice. We're back up to 30. 32 diplomacy at this point, actually. I'm not sure how we reached 32. We've inherited the county of Bejeja. From the count of Bejeja. Okay. I know that's a wrong pronunciation. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Um, that, not that guy, this guy. Yeah, you can have Bejeja. I mean, we have a good domain limit, so we could have held on to that entire duchy. But I want to try and consolidate my power up in the north here. Like we have 16, our son has 15 already, so assuming he came to power, which he seems to have healed from his illness, the flu. So that's good. So he'll probably be a better steward than we are. My other son already has eight. This son has six. This son has zero, because he was just born. Okay, we need a new commander, I'm guessing. Yes, one more commander. Um, sort. I wish there was a way to sort by combat modifiers. He's pretty good. The Count of Bejija just had a son after his death. ugly son. Um, she has diarrhea, fever and vomiting which are combined minus one health, minus one health, minus one health. She did get plus two from excellent treatment. Symptom treatment however. So she's not doing too bad. She's only on minus one health. We seem to have, um, what's this one, flourishing pretty much everywhere in the north of the realm. Oh, come on. How are there 2,000 raiders in Venezia? This is ridiculous. How are there so many adventurers? Chance of becoming charitable. She gained trusting, which will give her a boost to her diplomacy. This daughter. Daughter? Niece. This niece became a brilliant strategist. She is depressed, however. Let's see if we can get a matrilineal marriage to someone important if possible. Doesn't look like it. Um, what if I arrange a marriage this way? Anyone important? No, it doesn't look like there is anyone important in this list. Which is a bit unfortunate. This guy's infirm. Um, let's just get her married normally then. She is just a niece, so... Let's search for, not matrilineal, King of Abyssinia? Sure. You're not likely to press claims on my title. So you can marry her. And we've gained the stress trait. Which isn't good at all. Minus one health? Yes, minus one health. Doesn't really impact our important diplomacy stat that much. Doesn't bring down our domain size by one. I'm sick of raiders. I really am. How can you raid so much of my land? And how can there be so many adventurers? Um, Africa, I don't want. However, Kabylia, I do want. So we'll take that. And I think we'll give it to this, uh, not ambitious, but this genius. So grant landed title, Duchy of Cabelia, there you go. So we have a new duke under us, and we are consolidating our power in North Africa. Actually with that, we may be able to go to war with this Africa. Yes we can, we could go for Algiers. Let's do that. Anola War. And... Unfortunately, that brings an end to this episode with that declaration of war. We'll finish it on the episode later on today. 
both of you, until then, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe as well. And from me, Corpus, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.